Hi, and welcome to Orbis Multiplex, a complex simulation strategy game on Planetary Scale. In this latest devlog, I'll talk about some of the changes I've made since the last devlog. Uh, most of them are minor. One of the major changes is that the uh, initial planet generation system has been overhauled. Um, previously, it was a bit broken. It's now working fine. I've also changed how um, the initial topology is initialized. So if we look at initial elevation, we can see that it forms uh, ridges. It's still pearly noise, but it's uh, ridged. You can uh, achieve ridged pearly noise by uh, um, using this equation here. And what it does is that it gives the illusion of mountain chain ranges. So this here is an illusion of a mountain range here as well here so without using any plate tectonic simulation I can get sort of a uh, nice um, elevation I've also changed how um, rivers are created in the erosion uh, previously if rivers didn't drain into the ocean they formed lakes those lakes uh, could get rather large and be very unrealistic. Um, it was also the case that uh, the lakes would slow the simulation in the sense that at the border of the lake a f a an erosion frontier was created and this erosion uh, frontier needed to slowly, one tile at a time, eat up the lake until it drained. What I do now is that at the beginning of the initial uh, of the generation, I do um, a loop over all depressions in the map, and the depression is defined as um, a set of connected tiles which um, do not drain into the ocean. I loop over all depressions and um, cut out uh, drainage uh, channels. In that way, I'm. Uh, guaranteed that all tiles eventually drain into the ocean. Um, for example, um, if I can, uh, yeah, this location here in the old simulation, this would probably have uh, become a lake and the lake would have spilled over, but in this version, it simply drained. Which is better for my purpose. Another system that I've implemented uh, is that I've added some industries. If we look here, we have two rings of residences. They are exactly the same. And here we have a vast hunting ground, which is a new industry. And here the old hunting grounds. They both take input and output in the same way, but in different amounts. The vast hunting grounds also has this icon here which uh, indicates uh, that it does area extraction it means that the natural resources that this industry needs in this case animal can be taken not just from the tile itself but also from adjacent tiles if we look at industry satisfaction we see that this vast hunting ground can supply six residences with food, no problem. But the normal hunting grounds can only support one at 100% and these two at 0.5%. So it can only support two whole residences. We also have a new lumber mill complex, which is an area effect version of the normal lumber mill. And we'll run that. We just have to uh, give uh, this one here some more hunting grounds because it had some problems. So both these are working at 100% now. Um, and this lumber mill complex will extract resources in an area. Now I've also implemented that uh, industries, which takes uh, natural resources as input, in particular forest, and animal will uh, reduce those numbers um, in the ecosystem. So if we look at forest here, 
around these two lumber mills, the forest amount will reduce. We run for a couple of iterations and see that, yeah, it does reduce. On the lumber mill, it only reduces on the tile itself, but around, around the lumber mill complex, we see that all these tiles get reduced uh, forest biomass. So if we go to the ecosystem tab, we can see that, yeah, there's up around um, 83 biomass of wood here, and on the neighboring, there is like over 500. Same here. It's, oh, <laughs> it's just three, 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 three trees. And here it's like 700. So it's uh, reducing quite a lot. And you can also not notice this at a realistic uh, map filter, that it's a bit lighter here. So we have uh, deforested uh, the area. Great. Um, and overall, that's what I've um, implemented during this uh, last version. I'm pretty satisfied with the ways that uh, rivers are generated at the moment. Um, they might tend to be uh, a bit large. <laughs> there are a lot of uh, like Amazon size rivers. Uh, this is uh, unusually large. But one thing that I'm not very satisfied with and which I will tend, uh, try to work with um, in the previous coming weeks is that um, rivers do not interact with the ecosystem simulation in the sense that around this river here, that it's a big river that runs through the desert, uh, there should be greeneries here. Along the sides of the river, there should be vegetation. Now, this is not a fact because the ecosystem inter uh, simulation only interacts with precipitation at the moment. Like it's high precipitation here and low precipitation here. Um, but they aren't affected by rivers. So that's something I'll have to work with. Work with. Um, another thing that I'll work with if I take up my uh, roadmap is that the moisture system here is what I'm talking about with the rivers. But um, I'm also going to implement uh, some road infrastructure. At the moment, resources are transported on tiles that have industries and uh, adjacent tiles, but I want to be able to uh, manually place roads. And I also want to make um, automated uh, turns a feature. At the moment, you have to click this uh, next turn button every time you want to run the simulation. And when you're like, uh, if we, we can build a little bridge just to see how um, resources are transported. Uh, so here we have a bridge and each time we press next turn, resources are transported along this bridge. But we have to press quite a large number of times before we see any results. Um, and that's a bit cumbersome. So with an automated turn system, this next turn would process like once every 10th turn automatically. You don't have to press this. Um, this would be a similar feature to how it's done in games like Stellaris or um, Europa Universalis, the automated turn system. So that's what I'll be working on next. Uh, if you have any feedback, please let me know. And if you want to download a game, you can do so on itch.io. Um, have a good time.